So those cheeky wee blighters at Samsung have been proper teasing us when it comes to the fresh new Galaxy Z Fold 2, a seriously upgraded version of the original bendy phone from last year. And the most interesting thing that could be folded up since my pants. We got a half decent view of the new Z Fold 2 at the Note 20 launch, but details were a bit thin on the ground then. But thankfully Samsung has stopped playing silly buggers and finally revealed all of the sexy specs and finer details about what makes the Z Fold 2 so special. So here's all you need to know about Samsung's new rather expensive expensive and very shiny new smartphone and for more on the latest greatest tech please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now the overall design of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 is very similar to the original phone but with lots of little refinements spread throughout to improve the overall performance. Note however that at a pocket split in 282 grams this is once again an absolute brick albeit a very shiny smooth one. Better get yourself a hardcore belt if you're planning on sticking it in your trousers. It's also more than likely to attract the attention of any would-be muggers if you whip it out down the lemon flag on a Saturday night. But on the flip side, the Fall 2 is so bloody heavy that you could probably use it as a makeshift weapon to break said muggers and leave them spitting out their teeth in a pool of their own blood and saliva. And Samsung's snazzy new colour scheme introduced with the Galaxy Note 20 series has been reused here, so you can get the Z Fall 2 in that flagship mystic bronze colour or a bit of mystic black if you're not a fan and want something less eye-catching. I personally quite like the Mystic Bronze, but lots of people I know have equated it to a bag of cat sick. I guess it's true, you can't please all the people all the time. And if you want, you can add even more colour to the Z Fold 2 by customising the hinge in select regions, with a choice of metallic silver, red, blue or gold. Now one of the biggest upgrades overall for the second version of Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold smartphone is that 6.2 inch cover screen. Compared with the pathetically wee box thing of the original, this is much more functional and involves a lot less squid and furrowing of brows. And the good news is you've also got an infinity or cutout for that selfie cam so it barely takes out any screen space. It's super AMOLED tech with a QXGA plus resolution so you can expect crisp colourful visuals just like you would on any other Samsung flagship. Although this cover screen does top off at 60Hz refresh rate, no biggie. And if you start using an app on that cover screen and then decide so that you want to flip to the big jobby inside then no worries at all, just open up the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and supported apps will swap immediately to that main square window inside. Side, so you can pick up right where you left off. That main screen is a 7.6 incher now, slightly bigger than the 7.3 incher of its predecessor thanks to the smaller bezel surrounding it. And you've now got an infinity or cutout for the single camera lens instead of a massive corner wedge thing so you've got more screen space overall. And once again it's super AMOLED tech with a QXGA plus resolution. According to Samsung that screen brightness goes all the way up to around 900 nits on the maximum level so not only can you bray that would be mugger you can also blind them at the same time. Time. And you certainly shouldn't have any problems using the Galaxy Z Fold 2 outdoors. As for the actual refresh rate, well it's a dynamic effort again just like it is on the Note and the S series. So what this does is it tops off at 120Hz when there's lots of motion involved to keep everything looking silky smooth, but can also drop all the way down to 11Hz when you're just doing something like reading an article. And I preferred an option to also manually set the refresh rate, but it's better than nothing. One of the benefits of course that massive whopping square screen inside is the quick and easy app multitasking. Just to open up that there edge tool bar and you can drag a new app into any place where you want it with seemingly three apps able to function in this mode. You've also got the ability to open the same app twice side by side so as an example you can refer back to old emails in your messaging client while composing a new message. And you've also got seamless multitasking between the different apps with drag and drop between them as long as they are compatible of course. As for the audio well it's a stereo speaker style setup when you've got the Galaxy Z Fold 2 opened up. Unfortunately is there a headphone jack is there bollocks so you'll definitely have to get on board with Bluetooth if you want to use a bit of headphone action, otherwise find one of those dongly things lurking in the back of a drawer somewhere. Another benefit of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is that sturdier hinge which is now comprised of over 60 different elements including more springs than ever before, huzzah. So one of the benefits is you can now prop that phone up in flex mode like so which is handy if you want to watch some video or do a bit of skyping or whatever in a hands free type situation. You can even use this mode to record yourself doing things like squat thrusts complete with auto framing to help keep you in shot at all times. And that hinge apparently uses very similar sweeper tech to the Z Flip which was launched a few 
few months ago and this can just repel dust and dirt to keep it from getting in those little gaps. A design that apparently originated from a vacuum cleaner brush. And last up as far as the design stuff goes you've also got a side mounted fingerprint sensor which is backed up by a nice bit of face recognition. As far as the specs go well it seems that us in the UK are going to be once again lumbered with Samsung's Exynos chipset backed by 12 gigs of RAM and you've also got a 4500 milliamp battery stuck inside as well and that does have me slightly concerned because certainly the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra struggled to make it through a full day on a full full battery charge and that a 4500 milliamp cell as well and it didn't have two displays one of which was a mighty bloody almost eight inch effort to power and I am also wondering how the Galaxy Z 42 is going to handle the heat because once again that Note 20 Ultra started to get a little bit toasty after just a bit of use especially if you were playing around with the cameras or something like that. Now onto the camera tech you've actually got five camera lenses in total here on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. On the back end you've got a triple lens setup with a 12 megapixel primary lens with optical image stabilization likely the same hardware as the standard Note 20. You've also got a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens which appears to be a basic two times optical zoom effort. With the Galaxy Z Fold 2 open you've also got a 10 megapixel camera stuffed inside built into that bigger display and then the last camera is a 10 megapixel lens known as the cover camera. The actual camera hardware of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 may be nothing special and indeed it lags behind the camera tech found on other Samsung flagships like the Note 20 series and the S20s. However the unique design of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 does at least allow you to use those cameras in very different ways. For instance thanks to that cover screen you can take a selfie using the triple lens rear setup and not worry about accidentally trimming off half of your head or you can give your subject a view of themselves as you snap away so they can sort out their hair or in my case make sure that the light isn't reflected too badly right off the top of my slap head. You can also check out your shots as you take them on that massive internal screen without having to flip between the camera app and the gallery constantly. And if you've got some flat surface to prop the full two up on you can shoot night shots shots without stressing about wobbly hands screwing up the final pick. That's the actual camera features where you've got all the stuff that you would find on the other Samsung flagships and the likes of the A-series stuff as well. So for instance you've got that night shot mode and you've also got the snazzy video pro modes that you'll find on the Note 20 series with that really nice sexy pan zoom effort and the option of choosing exactly what audio is recorded in front of the camera, behind the camera etc etc. As for the rest of the specs where you've got 256 gigs of internal storage packed inside the Z Fold 2, nice and generous and it sports UFS 3.1 as well, although it doesn't look like it's expandable via a micro SD. And you've also got a dual SIM setup as well so that's a single nano SIM and the ability to add an eSIM contract as well if you like. And as for your connectivity well you've got a good bit of Wi-Fi 6 on board so nice and nippy for your internet shenanigans. And there you have it that's an in-depth look at the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 foldy bendy smartphone thing and I'm hoping to bring you a full hands on really really soon so stay tuned for that. For more on the latest greatest tech please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell and please do let me know what you think down below as well. Are you tempted by the Z Fold 2? Did you actually have the original Z Fold because I saw nobody with that outside of like YouTubers and tech press. Any other information that I didn't quite mention such as local pricing and things like that should be down in the description below so go have a squint at that and have yourselves a lovely rest of the week everyone. Cheers. Love you.